Hey fellow Google admins, this is Goldie again. Welcome to the Google Cloud Identity course. In this first video of the course, let's talk about why cloud identity in the first place. Sure, in this course, we will be covering what is Google Cloud Identity, how much would it cost, how to set it up, how it can help your business, etc., etc. But first, to start with, let us understand why do we even need Google Cloud Identity in the first place and for that let me present a few of my slides which might help you understand why google cloud identity in the first place well based on an article that i read from wall street journal it seems an average user is consuming more than 40 to 50 applications to get his or her job done but that is really painful for users and also for admins to manage these multiple applications, especially when you do not have a centralized identity provider in place. Let's take an example. Let's say a new employee joins your organization. Your HR team will inform information technology team so that IT team can now go to all of these applications and create this new user account in all of them manually, which is very time consuming, very painful, of course, it's not a good user experience and it's not secure at all. Now let's take it the user side. User will receive bunch of credentials for, you know, one credential set for each of these applications, which is too hard to remember. It's not secure at all. And usually you will see that users who would need to remember multiple credential set, they end up just taking one password and putting that password in all of those applications. Again, compromising on security. Of course, it's not a rich user experience because your users will then need to enter user ID and password, which is, you know, meant for just a specific application. So a lot of passwords to remember, not at all a good user experience, absolutely not secure. Now let's take another side of it. Let's go back to the admin side and look at one more problem here, which is of administration. Multiple users, everyone is using multiple applications. Everyone is maintaining multiple credentials set. Some of them forget their password and go to IT and IT team is investing too much time on password reset and this not required administration task. Again, not secure, poor user experience and absolutely time consuming. Okay. So now let's also talk about the user deprovisioning. Let's say this new employee who joined your organization is now leaving you. That also means admin will need to go to all of those 40 or 50 applications to deprovision this user account manually. And just in case, because at the end of the day, we all are human beings, we make mistake. Just in case if this admin forgets, to deprovision this user's account in one of those applications. Again, it's a security compromise because this user, even after leaving, can still access that application and access corporate data that of course nobody wants, okay? Now, what else? In terms of security and controls, if we are not using a centralized identity provider, then there is no standardized multi-factor authentication when these users are going to log into those applications, like 50 plus applications, all of these applications might offer MFA, but that MFA will be set up in the application itself, which means a single user will need to have, you know, MFA 50 times in case of the need to access all those applications. Same case for context of your access in case if you need to apply you know, policies which will grant access to, to resources based on user or device context, ideally it should be performed on a centralized system instead of going to 40 different applications and putting those controls in each of those applications. Same for standardized reporting in case if you need to know which user logged in into which application at which time and with which IP address, etc that is ideally should be at one place instead of going to all of those 40 or 50 applications and looking at the logs at each of those apps. Now centralized identity provider is not a new concept. We all have been using 
one or another centralized identity provider from years. One of the oldest one I would say might be Microsoft's Active Directory. And in case if you need single sign-on to SAML applications, you can still hook up Active Directory Federation services. But I'm sure you might have been noticing that organizations are moving towards cloud-based identity providers because they scale very well. And you do not need to worry about managing the infrastructure required for these centralized identity providers. You just log in, get your job done, configure rules and settings and administration, everything from anywhere, any device. So things like Ping Identity, Azure AD, Okta, One Login, Google Cloud Identity, they all are examples of cloud-based centralized identity provider. Now, why would you need Google Cloud Identity? Well, of course, we will talk about this in the next video on what Google Cloud Identity can do. For, for example, all the challenges that we talked about in this video, such as centralized user management, deprovisioning, authentication, security, endpoint management, etc. Google Cloud Identity can help your business do all of that. Plus, Google has been managing billions of identities every single day. So I think I was reading somewhere, Google has seven products with billion plus active users and it's managing identity of all of those billion plus users every single day. So it already knows how to manage your identity securely. Now, the second one is security and control. So for example, today you need to really make sure that right people would have access in the right context to the right resources. And Google Cloud Identity can really help you do that with its functionality like authentication, authorization, directory, endpoint management, etc. We'll talk more about that in the next video. And Google Cloud Identity is also cost effective. Let me explain. In case if you are considering a centralized cloud-based identity provider, of course, there are multiple as we discussed in the last slide and you can go to any of them based on who meets your needs the best. However, you will need to invest extra because you are procuring a centralized standalone system. However, in case if you have already invested in Google Workspace, you can get things done within Google Workspace itself because Google Workspace essentially includes Google Cloud Identity. So you do not need a standalone identity provider you can get things done within Google Workspace itself. And we'll talk more about that in the next video. So I hope this video was helpful to understand, number one, why do we need centralized identity provider in the first place? And number two, why should you consider Google Cloud Identity as your centralized identity provider? With that, thank you so much. In the next video, let's talk about what is Google Cloud Identity and how it can help your business become more secure.